Hello everybody, today let's do some drone shot of some notable buildings and places in the capital city of Nigeria. Most of the time I will talk you guys through the places so you can get to know more about those places. But in case you don't hear me talking, just know that I don't know much about that place or probably I'm just tired of talking. <laughs> please if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and support this channel. Just click that red button and subscribe. Alright, thank you for subscribing and also like and share this video so others can get to see it and find some time to visit Abuja if you haven't been to Abuja before. <laughs> Alright, so let's get started. Today we start off the video by showing you the city gates which is one of the Abuja landmark you get to see once you get into the city, especially if you're coming from the airport. You probably have seen this place before, it's just a white huge structure with the Nigerian coat of arm and the national flag imprinted on a map of Abuja. This building is a nice place. Most people go there to take a picture and even shoot a music video. However, I think it could have looked much better if the building has some light in the night, especially if the map of Abuja has some kind of a glowing light reflection at night because at night the building is just so dark because there is no light right after the city gate you'll find the 60,000 capacity national stadium this stadium was opened in 2003 for the eight all african games but recently in 2019 the stadium was renamed to moshud abiola stadium in honor of the popular nigerian politician and a businessman late chief mko abiola Next on our list that we look at is the tallest residential office glass building located in Central Business District. I'm talking about the World Trade Center and the Church Gate Building. These buildings are the two main glass buildings that is in Abuja, Nigeria at the moment. I also done a full video about those buildings. You can check it out if you want to learn more or know more about those buildings. Next on our list is the Million Tower. This tower is the tallest structure in Abuja at the moment. Unfortunately, after 15 years, this building is still under construction. Hopefully, something will be done to finish construction sooner than later. This part of the structure you are looking at is meant to be an observation deck and a viewing restaurant. There you could probably sit and enjoy the city view while enjoying your meal. I'm sure once this tower is completed, it will be one of the best places to go to have the best city view and of course, it's going to be expensive. Next on our list is the National Mosque, located also in Central Business District. This mosque was built in 1984 and is one of the main landmarks of Abuja. The mosque looks very beautiful and even more beautiful at night. I'm not sure but I'm being told that the mosque is also open to non-Muslim public except during congregational prayers. 
So definitely the mox is one of the site attractions you want to take a look at when you come to Abuja, Nigeria. Next on our list is the National Church, also known as National Economica Center. This church has a very unique structure and looks very beautiful. However, this place would have looked even more beautiful at night, especially if the cross have some kind of lightning at night. And speaking of church, here is the largest single auditorium in the world with 100,000 seating capacity called the Glory Doom. The Glory Doom was built by this man. Somebody shout power! Yeah, I'm sure most of you know it. Let's look at the Jabi Lake Mall. area is looking at is a popular ego square. This is where many of the major government events and political rallies holds. Directly opposite the Ego Square is a national cenotaph, also known as Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. The cenotaph is where the Nigerian Armed Forces Remembrance Day normally holds.
This area I'm looking at is a famous Unity Fountain. This is a convergence ground for most protests in Abuja. Most of the protests that you see that holds in Abuja mostly holds in this Unity Fountain. Angry campaigners from the Bring Back Our Girls group marched through the centre of Nigeria's capital city, Abuja. The protest marked the 1,000th day since more than 200 schoolgirls were kidnapped by the Islamist sect Boko Haram. Opposite the Unity Fountain is a popular Hilton Hotel. For those of you that are coming into Abuja for the first time, this is one of the places you may want to lodge if you want to come. But there are also other good hotels as well in Abuja, Nigeria. Most of this area you're looking at is a